Hi humans, Lord Duke is back. Finny here, I'm just a man who's trying to improve his speaking skills and please, I need to ask you something. Why you are not subscribed to this channel? I know, you are watching my video, you are watching my handsome face and you are not subscribed here. So please subscribe and make my dreams come true. So, today's video is gonna be part two of my last video. I don't know the name of the video because I didn't post it yet. This video is going to be how everything went bad. So, we were dating and for me it was like we were dating for years. But it wasn't years, it was like just weeks. But when you're young, time doesn't exist. Time is just a feeling, a sensation. So the things were going well, but at the same time I was feeling like I was doing all the things by myself. When we were kissing and doing things, he was really wild, but when we needed to talk, he was like shy, but not shy, like mm, cute, shy like he barely talked to me when we were together. We, when we were texting each other, he, we used to talk a lot, we used to fight a lot, fights about all the things, the universe. But every time we saw each other in person, he was like, he was, he wasn't there. It was like I was alone. And it started to really bother me because I'm a, I'm, I'm a shy person, but when I start talking, I don't stop talking. And one day I was at work and I went to the street to buy a coxinha, if you don't know what a coxinha is, coxinha is a Brazilian food, it's the best thing you probably ever taste in your life. Coxinha is life. And I went back to work and when I get at work, like he was texting me, screaming, and I was like, what happened? We were okay, like five minutes ago, and now you are saying that I'm a terrible person. Like, at the same time, he was shy, he can be really mean and angry, like, in a second. And I was like, I was laughing, actually I was laughing because I wasn't understanding anything. I knew that he was drinking alcohol, and probably was that, he was like crazy insane because of the alcohol. After like, some minutes, he appeared in my job, in the door of my job, like angry at me, but at the same time not talking, I didn't know. I asked him why he was screaming at me and telling me bad things, and he said that he was at the place where I bought the coxinha, and I saw him and I didn't want to talk to him because I was embarrassed of dating him, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see him, I didn't see him, trust, trust me, I didn't see him, trust me, I didn't see him, and I explained to him, no, I didn't see you, I was there, I bought, I bought my food, but I didn't see you, if I saw you probably I would just talk to you, I wouldn't kiss you and hug you at the street because I was afraid of my family, my job was literally next to my house and I was feeling and I would feel anxious but I would talk to him and he didn't believe me at this moment I was feeling so bad because I was feeling like I was the bad person who was hiding him from the world that I kissed him <laughs> I kissed him in front of my job Anyone on the street could see it. At the same time that I was brave doing it, I was afraid because here in Brazil, if you're gay, bi, and if trans, you die, like literally. And I kissed him just to prove to him that I wasn't ashamed of him, I was just afraid. And I didn't see him. After that, the things went cold. He got sick like on the same week. At the same time that I was worried about him, he didn't want to talk to me. So 
he stopped talking to me for like two, three weeks. And after that, he came back like acting normal and talking to me like we didn't stop talking. And I was like, I want him, but at the same time, it wasn't working. And I remember one day that I was working all day, I was really tired and he asked me to see him and I told him that I couldn't because I was working and probably I just could see him at Saturday, it was like Tuesday and for five minutes he didn't answer the message but when he came back five minutes later he was screaming again and calling me bad names and I was like, you flip too cute, too angry in a second and it's not something that I want. In that moment I broke up with him because I liked him but I wasn't feeling good. But after some months I was really missing him. Because when he wasn't angry or jealous, he was really cute. And that's a problem. If a person don't treat you good just run because those little cute moments won't be worth it and I texted him but and you could say that I was drunk but I don't drink alcohol I don't need to drink alcohol to do stupid things and I told him that I was missing him and he invited me to go to that beach again we went there and I was literally talking to myself like he was just looking at me and I was talking talking and he wasn't saying anything and every time that I stopped talking he used to get angry because I wasn't talking but I was literally talking to myself because there was a person in front of me just quiet and silence and I was like okay I'm talking to a door and I remember that we get back home he to his home me to my home and I wasn't feeling the same sensation that I used to feel in the beginning now I was feeling like okay we, we don't match we don't match he used to get angry or super shy or really jealous in a second and most of the time I didn't even know he was angry like we were joking laughing and I blink and he is screaming to me like I'm not the kind of person who lets anyone scream at me because I'm peaceful I'm resilient but if you start screaming at me I will just go away that was the story, sometimes he still talked to me, he's a really nice guy, don't get me wrong, he's a really nice guy, we just don't work match for each other. So that was this video, another sad story, actually it wasn't sad, because he helped me a lot, with him I really discovered myself, so I'm thankful for that. And he's a really good person. So, I think I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe, make my dreams come true. Love y'all. Bye.